You see, the thing about the Mozambique Channel is it can't make up its mind either about the current or the wind direction. And at best you've got maybe two to three days to get to where you want to go. Plan A was 450 miles to Ile de Fogo. Plan B, if the wind held, was 850 to Bazaruto. But the reality was, if we didn't get out of my yacht, we might never see our knees again. So at the crack of dawn on the 21st of October, up the anchor, up to sails, and finally got going into a flat cam. Well, good morning and goodbye, Mayotte. That's the big island you're looking at, Grand Terre. Smaller island for most of the action is just where that ferry's about to run me down. Oops. Day one, flat cam. And me cursed because I chose to put on a high speed surfing prop in your dreams, Stuart. A big old oily swell. Yeah, fortunately, one that's going south at about two and a half to three knots. So that's making up for there not being a great deal of wind. Finally, we've got wind. The big blue snake on the deck is our code D. We use that for going pretty close to windward and down to a reach, broad reach. And then this big guy, which is about twice the size, we use for a reach 90 degrees down to about 120, 130. Right, now we're really motoring. Well, not motoring. Sailing fast. 20 knots. 20 knots of wind. About 10 of boat speed with a surf up to 11, 12, which is quite nice. But night is approaching, so we're going to drop the big guy and we'll put up the code D and that's a little bit less sail to take us through the night. Nearly time for dinner. A new morning. Looks like the moon coming up, but it is morning. And we got some Decent wind, and we get dolphins for company. What speed are we doing? 10 knots and 26 knots of wind. 12.4. Cup of tea at 12.5 knots in our knickers. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I just said. Have we mentioned about catamaran sailing? So 28 knots of wind. We are doing 12 knots of wind. We're sitting about 10, 12, 13 knots of wind. We are doing sitting about 10 surfing a bit up to 14 and that is Anne's cup of tea. Oh, I'm fascinated by that. <laughs> After 10 years of rolling around like a pig, this is just magic. There you go, 25 to 30 knots, and we're doing 10 to 14, and it's image stabilisation enhanced, steady as a rock. It's a beautiful day for sailing. Some nice waves to go surfing on. Remember, I put the high speed surfing prop onto the hydro generator. Well, yesterday in the flat cap, I changed it for the 12 knot prop, and now we're doing 12, 15 knots. Well, we should change that blade. <coughs> The wind is going with the current, so the waves are pretty flat at the moment. There you go, one reef. 
and we're still doing 15 knots. It's funny how this reefing thing works. We've been thinking about reefing since about 7 o'clock this morning. Left it and left it and left it and piling on at 15 knots or so surfing. So now you put in a reef and what are we doing? 15 or 16 knots. I just looked at the group and it's meant to be blowing 17 knots. And as usual, it's blowing 27 knots. Seventeen and a half, eighteen. Can you hear me? Uh, we put in the third reef about two hours ago. You haven't listened to me. I never listened to you, and you're absolutely right, darling. Woohoo! Here we go again. Now the problem is, going at this speed, we arrive at. Bazaruto in the dark and if we press on to Inhambani we get there in the daylight but perhaps if this sea is still running it's an open roadstead anchorage in this direction so hmm, getting a bit of a puzzle and then we can't go on well possibly can't go on to Richards Bay because there's a southeasterly on the way so what to do Third reef, maybe. He doesn't listen to me. And here's our happy crew. Um, I'm just getting ready. Grab bag, you perp. Ready to go. Happy smile. This is our what and see. Now the issue with these is, before you leave in the morning you have to check what the weather is and what speed you're going to do. And if you're in a boat that can do anything from 0 to 20 plus knots, then there's a problem because, like us, if you start the day and it's a little slow day, you put on the 9 knot prop, it's going to be a faster day you put on the smaller prop but if you put on the wrong prop and go from 0 to 22 knots you strip the blade right off the prop that's our second one gone so this is our 22 knot prop and of course that's us now cursed we'll be doing 6 knots for the rest of the trip It was a tight squeeze, but we got around the point. Okay, we're on the last leg. Yeah. We are, what, 211 miles from Richards Bay. And on track. Need to point up a little, but the wind is meant to swing, so that'll pull us round. So it's all a little bit sporty this morning. 25 apparent, what's that true? 22 knots true, sitting at about 10 knots, and a little bit of current, but not much. And we're doing good speed, which of course will get us in, in the dark. It always happens. So it is a bit sporty, and for the first time in what, 12,000 miles? 13,000 miles. We're getting some spillage on the worktop. That's outrageous. Outrageous. But then the nice thing is, you can sit in here 24 7 in your own little greenhouse. All we need is tomatoes. And look, another masterpiece. We're 
the shipping channel, approaching the breakwater to get into the harbour at Richards Bay. We've done exactly seven days. We've done 1,294 nautical miles since we left Mayotte, exactly seven days ago. Maximum speed 20 knots, average speed 7.7, .7, which isn't bad considering we motored for two days. And it's Thursday the 28th of October. And all we need is a PCR test, customs, passport, immigration, port control and on. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up, maybe subscribe. And come back and see how we got on when we went on safari out in the South African bush.